guys, Monica here with Live It Up with Monica, and today I'm at my hydroponic shop working, and I wanted to show you an example of how easy it is to grow your own food indoors year-round with an indoor grow tent. So all of my fruits and vegetables are outside right now. Once the outdoor season ends, I'll be bringing them indoors. So, and I'll put them in a tent, something like this. So see that? This is a four by four indoor grow tent right here. And then you come inside and check out all of the food that we have growing. Isn't that amazing? So we've got sunflowers right here. Whoop. Um, we have cauliflower. We have pepper plants. We have beans. Check out those beans hanging off of the plant. And then check out, we've got these three gargantuan tomato plants here. Huge, they're falling over, they're so big. And uh, look, we have little tomatoes on them already, more blooms. The sunflowers, check out the sunflower buds. Aren't those beautiful? <laughs> so what we're doing here is using a 400 watt grow light. This is a metal halide bulb up in there using a diffuser to spread the light out in an air-cooled reflector. This air-cooled reflector is designed to keep the inside of the tent cooler and then it's ducted so that the air is being pulled out of the tent. Ventilation is very important in an indoor garden and it's being sucked out with this uh, exhaust fan right here. And then if this was an actual setup in your home, you'd have another fan bringing air into the tent and this whole tent would be closed up most of the time. So this light gets taken back here and it's plugged into that ballast. See that white box? That is a magnetic ballast and that's what powers the, the light. So you can kind of see how that setup works right there. This over here, that's a phantom ballast. That's an electronic version of the ballast, which means that it is, it's a little different. It's a little bit more efficient when it comes to giving off heat and using energy. We, uh, you always want to have fans, ventilation super important, temperature super important in an indoor garden. This uh, flood and drain table that the tomatoes are in is kind of neat. I want to show you how this works. See how it's sitting up on the buckets? So you're sitting it up tall and then you would drain it from that plug. So that's why it needs to be up higher for the gravity. That's how you empty it and uh, put more solution in. So this plastic is melded to get, uh, molded together. So this is a reservoir under here, and then up top you have your plants in hydroton pellets. These are clay pellets that are reusable, so that's less waste. You're not taking soil from the earth. You're just going to reuse this over and over. And then you would put them in a net pot and see how those roots just go crazy coming out of there? It's amazing. And this table fills and drains a couple of times a day with nutrient solution in there so you know exactly which nutrients are in your solution it gives you a lot more control um, you are mother nature in a situation like this in an indoor garden I also want to show you uh, if you read the last blog post about uh, the fungal diseases that I was having and what I did to fix it I mentioned the salmon guy tea that's this stuff right here king salmon and um, well, I just want to show you, this is our side-by-side -side comparison, with the tea, without the tea. So follow up with me. Look at, first of all, way more vegetative growth on the sunflower with the tea, right? And then you get up here, the one without the tea stops, and the one with the tea keeps going. It's taller, it's healthier, it has more uh, vegetation on it. Check out this little guy. Oh. <laughs> Um, this up here too, this is an exhale bag. So this bag emits CO2 from that little vent right there. And the CO2 feeds your plants, which makes them even healthier. So this bag is perfect for this size space. You'd want one of those for about this space right here. And then uh, these are the brewers that we brew the tea in, by the way. So they're freshly brewed living mycorrhiza, living bacteria. We pour it fresh. Got all our gallon jugs ready to go. This stuff is amazing. So I just wanted to show you what's possible. And then when I get mine going over at my house, if I can find the room in my house, then I will show you how to set it up, what I do. I'll teach you little tricks along the way. And uh, 
yeah, really explore more into hydroponics, indoor gardening, solar power, uh, like I've been showing you with the tubes. I mean, there is so many possibilities. We don't have to buy everything from everybody. We can have food that tastes better, that's healthier for us, that will help us. Like, I just ate a strawberry from outside. We have a strawberry patch outside. Oh my god, I don't think I can go back to the, to the grocery store strawberries now. It's amazing. So, um, yeah, I just really encourage you to explore your options and really start maybe living a more self-sustainable lifestyle. Alright, so I'm going to go now get back to work. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. If you're liking my videos, by the way, please hit the like button and subscribe. And join me on Facebook and Twitter. Connect with me. Let me know how you're doing. Let me see pictures of your garden. And I hope you're having a great day. I will see you guys later. Bye.